Hello there. Today, I'd like to chat to you in quite a relaxed and informal way about what I've been up to over the past few months, and about what's coming up on the Sounds Curious channel. It's been quite a while since I last made a video, for which I apologise profusely, especially to my regular listeners. I've had an incredibly busy and productive summer, working on several different projects, and sadly that hasn't left me any time at all for making ASMR videos. However, I am planning to come back to making ASMR, hopefully in the not-too-distant future, and I have a couple of specific topics already lined up, one of which in particular I'm very excited about. So, in this talk, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about those future topics, give you a preview of what will be coming up, later on in the year, and also tell you about what I've been doing with my time, more recently. While I talk to you about all this, you are, of course, welcome to close your eyes as usual, relax, and let my voice guide you. So, welcome back to another ASMR talk, albeit a slightly different one to usual. This is more of a catch-up, and it's lovely to be able to reconnect with you again and tell you about what I've been doing. Over the past few months, I've been immersed in uh, creating a new play. Those of you who have listened to the introductory talk I made right at the very beginning of this channel's lifetime will know that in the offline world, I work as a writer and director, mainly in the theatre and also occasionally in the audiobook world too. Live theatre is, of course, something that has dwindled acutely during the COVID-19 pandemic. As I record this talk in September 2021, it's beginning to restart again, at least in some countries. But for the past 18 months, certainly where I live, all the theatres have been closed, and all of us who work in the theatre world have not only been cut off from our livelihoods, but also from our vocation. Now, we're not alone in this, of course. Um, many people have suffered in the same way. But it is hard to be cut off from the thing that makes your heart sing, and that gives you a reason to get up in the morning. So I decided during lockdown that I was going to make some lockdown theatre. Before the pandemic, the theatre company that I run, which is called Cabinets of Curiosity, was quite often involved in creating theatre productions that were site-specific. And that is to say, I used to write and direct theatre which wasn't necessarily staged in conventional theatre spaces. Instead, it's theatre specifically written for an unusual or historic venue. Over the years, I've created site-specific shows for a variety of extraordinary places. Uh, the very first production I was ever commissioned to create took place in an old Victorian brick-built warehouse down by the River Thames in the London Docklands. And since then, I've staged shows in all sorts of places. An historic walled garden, the largest bookshop in Europe, an old Victorian brewery, and on the fourth plinth in Trafalgar Square, which is in the heart of the West End of London. Because I'm used to creating these sorts of site-specific works um, that are made for a particular environment, I decided during lockdown to write a new play that would be site-specific to the environment I found myself working in. And that environment was, of course, Zoom. Zoom, as I'm sure you know, is a video conferencing system that allows groups of people to meet online and uh, chat together. And over the past 18 months, I, like many other people, have spent a lot of my time on Zoom video calls as part of the work I've been able to do remotely from home. 
There's actually been quite a bit of online theatre made during lockdown, and if you have a little search on YouTube, you'll find many play readings on there. I myself have been involved in quite a few of them. However, nearly all of these play readings are of texts that were originally written for the stage. And in fact, another project I've also been involved with over this summer has been a Zoom rehearsed reading of a stage play that I was hired to adapt and direct for a local theatre group. However, when it came to making my own new production, I wanted to create a piece of theatre that was specifically written to be performed on Zoom. And that meant integrating the video conferencing aspect of the way we're all communicating during lockdown actually into the performance so that it would become an essential part of the show. So this is what I did. (laughs) I wrote the play itself back in March. In April, I held the first read through of it on Zoom. And then myself and my producer cast the play. Uh, We then rehearsed it entirely online during May, and at the beginning of June, we recorded it. Over the end of June and into July, I worked on the post-production side of the performance, editing together small sections of scenes, adding subtitles, and also collaborating with a very talented musician friend of mine who composed and performed some music for the end credits. Once all that was done, my plan was to release the play online straight away. However, in an unexpected quirk of fate, some local builders who were working close to where I currently live managed to cut through the main phone cable for our road, and everyone in our street lost their internet for over three weeks. (laughs) Fortunately, um, I'm now back online, but uh, that delayed things for a little while. So now the show is ready, my internet is restored, and the play, which is called Deep Fakes, will be premiering here on the Sounds Curious channel on YouTube next Tuesday. I should add at this point that the content and style of the play isn't at all ASMR related. Nevertheless, I decided that this channel would be the right place to host the show, partly because For those of you who subscribe to my channel, I thought it would be rather nice for you to actually be able to see precisely what I'd been up to for the past few months, and what had been distracting me from making ASMR videos. But also, I decided very early on, during the process of creating deepfakes, that I wanted it to be accessible to everyone, regardless of where they live, or whether or not they could afford to pay for a theatre ticket. And as YouTube is a free worldwide platform, I decided this would be the ideal place for it. So apologies to you if you're here for the ASMR. My ASMR talks will return in due course, I promise. And hopefully in the meantime, some of you will also enjoy viewing this new type of online site-specific theatre that I've been making. I'm biased, of course. But I think the show contains some absolutely stellar performances from the cast that are really compelling and well worth watching. I was very lucky with the actors, actually, that I was able to involve in the show, because some of them have very busy stage and uh, screen careers most of the time. But because of lockdown, they weren't actually working, and so they were available to make my tiny little online project with me for which I'm very grateful. So there are some very powerful performances to enjoy in the piece, and the play itself is a political satire. It's set at the heart of the UK government, and it revolves around a fictional Prime Minister who is holding various online meetings with his advisers, assistants and fellow politicians during lockdown. And being a satire, it is, I hope, quite funny. However, although it contains a lot of humour, the play also has a serious message and contains a lot of heart. And that's because when I was writing it, I was very intent on creating a work that would not only make people laugh, but would also uplift them and empower them 
in a very sincere and genuine way. It's not too difficult to write political satire, I think, simply because there is such a lot of absurdity and hypocrisy in politics. However, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we've all been living in quite dark times over the past 18 months. And so it was important to me that I write something that shone a light into that darkness, as well as making people laugh. So anyway, that's what I've been putting my heart and soul into over this past summer. Should you wish to join me to see the results of it all for yourself, then I'd be delighted if you could join us at the Deepfakes premiere, which is next Tuesday, the 21st of September, 2021. I'll be there, live chatting, with the producer of the show and also most of the cast. So do join us if you can. It would be lovely to have some of my ASMR listeners join us. However, if you can't make it, then the play will remain up online for you to view at another time, if you so wish. I'll put a link to it in the description below the video. And I'll also put a link to the trailer for the show, which I'm also going to be posting in the next couple of days. Later on this year, once Deepfakes has been launched and has settled down into its online existence, then I will be returning to making ASMR videos. Uh, I won't be making them regularly, I'm afraid, and I won't be returning to it straight away either, because I'm actually going to be moving house later on this autumn, and uh, that's going to be quite a big undertaking, so it will be another few months before I'll have any time or opportunity to set up my new audio booth and record some new content for you. However, I am planning to get back to the ASMR before the end of the year, and I already have a couple of topics lined up that I'm very much looking forward to recording and sharing with you. One of these is going to be on the history of the tarot, and it will focus on the art of tarot cards through the centuries, the way the symbols have evolved and changed over the years, and the fascinating iconography and imagery that often goes along with tarot cards. A second talk that I'm planning, and which I'm very excited about, is going to be on Annick Castle. Annick is a stunningly beautiful castle that's situated in the northeast of England, not far from the Scottish border. And today, it's probably most famous for being the filming location for Hogwarts in the Harry Potter films. It's an utterly magnificent place, and if you've ever watched one of the Harry Potter films and marvelled at that amazing gothic edifice that Hogwarts has, with its many towers and battlements, then I think you'll really enjoy taking a peep inside the castle with me and seeing the actual rooms for yourself. I'm particularly thrilled to be making this talk, actually, because, in general, Photography isn't allowed inside the castle. Um, it is open to the public, but anyone who visits is uh, forbidden from taking photographs, and consequently not many online tours of the interior are available. However, I've received special permission from the Annick Estate to make a virtual ASMR tour, and uh, I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to exploring this gorgeous place with you. There's one room in particular which is an utterly sumptuous library, and I think it's one of my very favourite rooms in any historic house in the UK. I can't wait to share it with you. And uh, there are also some surprises to discover in the gardens of Annick, most notably a walled poison garden, which is kept under lock and key. So I'm looking forward to exploring all of that in a new ASMR video in due course, and I hope you'll be able to join me for it towards the end of the year. Meanwhile, let me just say thank you, especially to my regular subscribers, for your patience in my absence, and for your continued support of the Sounds Curious channel. Uh, it means a lot to me. 
I know I don't make many videos these days, but it's always so heartening when I receive a lovely supportive message from one of you, or a friendly hello. It reminds me why I started this channel in the first place, and it inspires me to keep going. So thank you for being here, and uh, if you decide to come and watch Deepfakes with us next week, or at some later date, thank you for that too. I hope you enjoy it, and if you do decide to tune into the premiere next Tuesday, please be sure to type a quick hi to me in the live chat, and let me know that some of my ASMR crew are there. It would be great to see you, even if I can't actually see you. Meanwhile, I hope you've enjoyed this brief catch-up, that it's helped you to unwind and relax, and I hope you can join me again at some future date for another ASMR adventure. Until then, thank you for your company. Goodbye.